What's going on guys? This is Horror Kid back from my one week long break and I'm here to give you another review. Today's game needs no introduction for I am reviewing Super Mario Brothers, released for the NES. Super Mario Brothers, who would have thought? One of, if not the most iconic video game series of all time, still going strong even in the year of 2019. The Mario series technically started with an arcade game simply titled Mario Brothers, where one person controls Mario and the other controls the younger brother, Luigi. Together, they will later be known as the Mario Brothers. This game was also one of the key factors ever since the infamous game crash of 1983 since the release of E.T. the Extraterrestrial for the Atari 2600. So, while you are, are playing your PlayStation 4s, Xbox Ones, or Nintendo Switches, imagine what the world would be like if Super Mario Brothers didn't even happen. So, without further ado, let's get on with this. Super Mario Bros. is an action platformer developed by Nintendo Creative Department and published by Nintendo, and directed, produced, and designed by Shigeru Miyamoto with the assistance of Takashi Tezuka for design and art and for programming. Miyamoto also got the assistance from, and I'm going to butcher this, probably very, very badly, Kazu, Kazuaki Morita. Let me know if I pronounce or mispronounce something there. And the soundtrack was composed by Koji Kondo. It was released in Japan for the Famicom, or the Japanese version of the NES, on September 13, 1985. And it also released in America the same year for the NES. While you're up in Australia, I had to wait until 1987 to get the game. Yeesh. A two-year-long wait just to get this game. That must have stunk. So the story of Super Mario Brothers is very, very, very predictable. Mario needs to rescue Peach, or as she was called in this game, Toadstool. Yeah, I'm sticking with calling her Peach. So as you try to rescue her, Bowser, or King Koopa, has a plethora of minions to send, and they want Mario or Luigi, if you're playing with a buddy, dead. So, the story is very predictable nowadays, and very, very, very overused, but back in 1985, it must have been great, and it inspired another great NES game, The Legend of Zelda. So, the gameplay is classic 2D style action platforming. You guide Mario or Luigi left to right using the D-pad, using B to dash and A to jump for extra momentum. I'm pretty sure anyone could put those two together. So the gameplay at times, especially in the final world, World 8, is where your skills will be put to the test. So the gameplay actually does have a great difficulty curve. Easy in the beginning, a bit challenging in the middle, very challenging at the end. Now that is why I call a great difficulty curve. So the reception of the game back then is so praiseful, Nintendo later published Three more sequels in the form of Super Mario Bros. 2, also released for the NES, Super Mario Bros. 3, which would later be praised as one of the greatest NES games of all time, and Super Mario Bros. 2. Wait, I might have misread my script here. I thought I already said Super Mario Bros. 2. Oh, I meant Super Mario Bros. 2. The Lost Levels, originally released in Japan on June 3rd, 1986, until coming to America via the Super Mario All-Star cartridge for the SNES, and in the 1999 Game Boy Color game, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. It was also ported to the Wii, Wii U, 3DS, and new 3DS virtual consoles, as well as the Wii port of Mario All-Stars. And it's one of the hardest games I ever played, period. I could barely. Barely get past World 2, and even I, and even if I do, I'm sure I would throw my 3DS across the room from how difficult that game could be. But can I still recommend the original Super Mario Brothers? Yes, I can. This game single-handedly saved the video game market after the horror that was ET Atari 2600. So I say, give it a shot and watch as you witness the true birth of a gaming icon. I'm giving the original Super Mario Bros. a perfect 10 out of 10. Almost 34 years ago and it is still what I consider a fun game.
Now I want to hear from you all. Did you enjoy Super Mario Brothers and its sequels, and could you recommend them to a friend? Leave the answers in the comments below. Follow my social medias, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. I've been Harkit, and I bid you all farewell, and thanks for watching.